Not many people think about lawn care this time of year, but addressing the problems now, like winter weeds, can give homeowners a head start on having a healthy lawn for the rest of the year. Craig Gotro gives us some tips for what you should be doing with your lawn during the winter. While many lawns appear brown and dormant, you can find color if you look close enough. Chances are those green plants are winter weeds and now is the time to control them. Homeowners should use herbicides that have atrazine or 2,4-D as the active ingredient. If you had to use one herbicide, atrazine would be it. It's going to cover more weeds than, than 2,4-D. But if you can, if you want to spray two chemicals, atrazine and then also 2,4-D is going to control another group of weeds that atrazine would not. Rouse says homeowners should first assess how widespread their weed problems are. This will be used to determine a strategy for combating the weeds. If you have just a few, it's always best to spot treat those weeds. If your entire lawn is covered with weeds or they're sporadically throughout the grass, you want to use a broadcast system where you cover the entire lawn. Rouse recommends homeowners perform a soil test on their lawns now because the results take a few weeks. The test indicates what nutrients need to be added to improve the appearance of the lawn later in the year. So you're going to get your nutrient results. You're going to get things like phosphorus, potash, uh, calcium, magnesium, and these are the things that we need to know what we need to alter to make our lawn thrive in spring, summer, and fall. While there may be days that feel spring-like, it is still only the first full month of winter, and it is not time to fertilize. We don't want to add that fertilizer or those amendments this time of year because we don't want to send that grass out of dormancy growing and then possibly get a late frost and kill off some of that new tender growth. The first week of April is generally the time to begin fertilizing lawns in Louisiana. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting. If your winter weed problem is not significant, spot treating is the best alternative. It's also the least expensive option for homeowners. Still to come on Twyla, we'll take a look back at this week and all the wild weather we've had so far this year. And it's only February. Trending on Twyla is up next. Stay with us.